Hello dear doers and welcome to this new video about multi-company. Having different subsidiaries from the same group involves a lot of times intercompany transactions. In Ado, we can easily automate that process. Let's see together how to do that. Okay guys, in Ado, it is possible to synchronize invoices and bills issued from one company to another from the same company group. To do so, you need to activate in the settings of the database. So you go in the settings app here and you activate the intercompany transaction feature here. Make sure that this feature is activated in both companies beforehand. You can't only uh, activate it here and when you, but because when you issue the invoice, it won't be synchronized then on the other side. You have different possibilities. You can synchronize invoices and bills, sale orders, purchase orders, or both. If you are a, without the inventory and purchase flow and so on, I would advise you to stick to invoices and bills. However, if you need to generate stock moves between the companies, it is, uh, I would advise you to go with the sales and purchase order flow instead. So here we're gonna focus on invoices and bills. My feature is properly configured. Let's test it out now. Second advice that I would give you is that when you have intercompany transaction, make sure to create dedicated journals for those transactions and not use the classic customer and vendor bills uh, journal. So what I'm going to do is create new ones. Uh, so first, let's say the, the intercompany sales journal. Type sales, of course. I'm going to put a random default account. And in the short code here, ICINV and create another one, intercompany purchase journal, purchase flow, and it's here. If you want, you can also dedicate another expense account or an income account for those intercompany transactions if you need to. I'm just going to put them back at the top of the list as well. So it's easier for me when I'm on the dashboard. So when we go back here, you see those are right at the top of the Kanban view. Let's now test and create a new customer invoice for one of my subsidiaries. So I'm going to invoice for the end of July my uh, to my pink cars in the US. Reinvoicing July 2022, let's say, for 25,000 take out the taxes and I'm going to confirm. As I confirm, what Odu is going to do is create, generate a new vendor bill on the US side with the vendor as my pink cars company. So now let's go and switch companies and see what is the impact on the accounting side for the US. So in the US side, you see that I have also my purchase journal available and I have now one bill to validate for that uh, coming from my pink car's main company. So here you see it's in draft, so I have yet to validate it. Odubot has created it and I have the same information as on the other side. Uh, you can take out also the taxes if you need to, but depending on the use cases, you may need to use taxes as well. The only thing I have to do again is confirm and we're happy to, we're good to go. So super easy to use the synchronization between two companies within the system. The second thing that you need to consider is that often companies, you may need to separate to see within your financial reports, the transaction from your main activities and the transaction from intercompany flows. In that case, what I would advise you to do is to create journal groups within your database. So to access those, you need to go in the configuration menu and you have a journal groups feature here. What is going to happen is enables you to filter automatically based on the groups that you, the journals that you've configured here. So let's say I want uh, the intercompany own, uh, let's say the transactions without intercompany. Here I'm going to exclude specific journals so that when I choose this filter, I will see only the journals I have not selected here. So here I will exclude the intercompany journals automatically here. So once this is done, we're going to go in our balance sheet, for example. So you see we have a complete balance sheet as of 14th of July. And here in the journals, you have the possibility to choose either you want to choose the full 
the full uh, journals if you want to, or you can select our journal groups here. So if I take it out and you see all journals, you see the amounts have changed. If I change it back again, you see here in the liabilities, the payables are lower than before. So that's how easy it is to use uh, and to configure a multi-company environment in Adu. Thank you for watching and ciao a tutti.